Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain. Welcome to the Nanny State Nonsense Series. It continues. We're going to talk about the ridiculousness of bike lanes, ladies and gentlemen, which, as you can see, are completely empty. Yeah. Maybe there's one bike coming. Now, stick around. We're going to talk about that tonight in the report from Tiger Mountain. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the nonsense of the bike lane. Here we have two bikes coming down this bike lane, so it appears uh, two people are, are using it. But this is actually a road that used to be uh, two lanes at least, and potentially three when there was no one parking along here during, say, uh, you know, um, a clearway or whatever. And this used to be, this is one of the major arterials out of the city. Now it's been um, shrunk to the size of, of one, just one lane. Uh, and this is apparently green, you see. Uh, so basically making traffic, making cars that do spew CO2 on the road longer because of the fact that we've reduced these things with this ridiculous bike lane bullshit. Um, you know, this is absolutely ridiculous. We're keeping road, we're keeping vehicles that spew CO2 on the, on the road longer and yet people who could have ridden, ridden their bike along the road anyway have now got a special lane. The parking has been moved into the middle of the road and we have one row, one lane out of the city. It's just nonsense. It's, like, it's again, it's ineffective, but it's the illusion that it's doing something good. This is the illusion, again, of woke politics. Um, it's an absolute nonsense and I think it's ridiculous. So again, I just wanted to point that out. Um, part of our nanny state nonsense Here's two more bike riders who could have been riding along the road. Yeah, boys, girls, whatever you are. And uh, there it is, ladies and gentlemen, the report from Tiger Mountain, nanny state nonsense. Thank you.